Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. This is David Pendleton. Now I'm covering holes number 13, 14, and 15, Rookie Division Wild West Tournament. Uh, so far, so good. Um, so let's just go to it. A little frustrated because I'm, I'm really struggling with YouTube today, but it is what it is. Three bars a side spin to the left. And then here, we're going to go with three top spin as well. Now, I'm using a Kingmaker here uh, just because of the stronger headwind. You could probably get away with using a katana as long as your wind was low. You would need to go with more overpower, so just be cautious of that. Half a ball of curl to the left. Here, we're just doing what we've been doing all tournament. We're just trying to get this ball up this part of the fairway, leaving us for the rough bump position with our runner or hornet, whatever club that you're using for your rough bump. Okay. Now, <clears throat> we're going to go 0% at mid. And you see my Gur here, a little frustrated because on both of my accounts, I hit a great ball. This is really the only hole so far on this tournament that uh, I had a case of the greats on. I've been hitting a lot of perfect shots today, so I guess maybe I was due for a mess up. You'll see here, 3.9 mile per hour. That's the strongest wind you can get with a Kingmaker and Rookie. Uh, that's okay, not a big deal, but with a perfect ball, this thing would have definitely been in the hole, right? Just showing it to you so you can see the rollout, you can see the shot. Uh, I do believe here, mine are great. You know, I do believe, again, like I said, with a perfect ball, this thing probably falls into the hole. Speed is good. You know, just do better than me when it comes to a perfect shot. This one picked up a hole-in-one on both of my accounts. You can start off by putting just a little bit of top spin on the ball, no side spin. From here, you're going to find your landing position. Put in the yellow ring on the rough line. Maybe the green inner ring on the rough line. It's hard to tell um, on some of these holes. Ball guideline going to pin. Uh, if anything here, if anything, I'm slightly favoring the right-hand side of the flag stick. You can see that the majority of my ball guideline has the pin on it. But if anything, just a slight, slight favor to the right-hand side of the flag stick. Uh, sometimes those little details matter, so... But you'll see here, perfect ball was able to get in, like I said, two for two on my accounts with this shot. So that was a nice little pick-me-up right there. And then on to the next hole, which is hole 15, long par 5. Perfect wind in order to really pick up the easier eagle on this hole. Titan ball, six top, two bars of side spin to the right. Here you're just going to make your pool 0% at max, of course. A little bit of OP, a little bit of curl to the right. Don't go, don't go too crazy with, with both of those. This is all that we need to do here to get this ball nicely up the fairway, leaving us for our big dog shot for shot number two. So shot number two here, like I said, with that big dog. 0% at max, perfect tailwind. Makes this one nice and easy just to land onto the green and take your putt for your eagle. Here you can see I apply backspin. I have my final bounce landing before the green. I've been running long on this hole all tournament long, so I figured I'd try something a little bit different. Also been going to the right-hand side of this hole quite a bit in the tournament, so I took a little bit of the right curl off, uh, but wouldn't you know, I needed a little bit more right curl. Speed comes in pretty good here, like really good, but obviously missing to the left-hand side by quite a bit. But regardless, I wasn't trying to pick up the albatross. If I would have got it, would have just considered ourselves lucky. Doing the best that I can for you. I hope you're crushing it. Thanks, everybody.